Well, welcome back to another Daily Devotion. This devotion is for Thursday, November 10th of 2022. And it's going to be hopefully a fairly short one. We're only going to look at two verses today. We're going to take a just a little nibble at chapter 12 today. We're going to look at verses 1 and 2 in chapter 12 of Hebrews. I didn't say that, did I? We're working our way through Hebrews, and we would like to uh, see you here more. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, make a nice, kind comment if you'd like below. That would be fine, too. Um, we do have a whole bunch of playlists here on my channel of different books of the book Bible that we have done studies through. Um, there's well over a thousand videos here on this channel. Um, just a little tiny channel with an awful lot of videos. So with that, let's talk about Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Okay, and Henry is here with me also uh, <clears throat> doing this devotion, so if he makes an appearance here and if he interrupts me, I apologize. Henry is our little feral kitten that we've taken in. Um, we've just got done talking about chapter 11 with all of the faith talk. It's really a fountain of faith is what chapter 11 is, and it, the, the formation of faith, I guess, or foundation, I guess, perhaps. Let's say it that way. The foundation of faith, and we talk about Abraham, and it goes all the way back to Abel um, in talking about faith. Uh, and all of those figures that we look to. And then chapter 12 starts off with, with, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, those all of those figures from the Old Testament are a witness for us as to how to go about doing our faith and the, the examples of our faith. Things we can look to, such as King David and, and, and even Moses and, and even Abraham, times when they, they, they weren't as, uh, you know, their faith slipped a little bit. We can look at those and take reassurance because we, too, are not perfect in our faith. Our faith walks. Um, faith is not something that goes like this or something that goes like this. Rather, it's something that does this kind of a thing. And hopefully it always ends up higher at the end. But faith is something that oscillates. It's not something that takes a, a, a steep climb or stays on a steady keel. Um, that's true for anyone, even those great... Uh, harbingers of faith, those people that we can put up on a pedestal of faith, such as Mother Teresa. In her memoir, she talks about times when her faith was, was sorely tested and where she felt that she had lost faith at times. Um, and we don't, you know, that's, that's something we go, wow, Mother Teresa, um, she struggled with her faith. That's, that's stunning. But all Christians, even these patriarchs that we've mentioned here, um, from chapter 11 that we talked about in the previous videos, all of them had moments of where they where they had troubles. and uh, But in the end, we look to them, and in our own lives, we have other people that, that we can also look to. And I think I mentioned this in other you know, previous days here as we lead up to this. Um, all of us have someone in our background, or multiple someones, hopefully, that we can look to as that, that they were a pillar of faith, that they were a picture of faith, that we can that we can model our faith walk on on them, and we can be uh, somewhat humbled by the ability to be uh, to be filled with faith, even in the in in the sight of great disabilities. Uh, many times, there are people I've known that have been wheelchair bound, have been some of the greatest uh, witnesses of faith and and endurance. Uh, for us. And this, these verses also talk about endurance because we're running a race a persever with perseverance, that is the race that is set before us. Our faith life is a race. It's not a, you know, just a quick little sprint. It's a lifelong marathon and it takes, it takes days, it takes years, it takes decades. And for some of us, if we're lucky like Bessie, it's a century and more um, that we've traveled this world uh, with our faith walk. And we we have to understand that it's not just something that would be. Sometimes it would. I, I sometimes think, wouldn't it be wonderful? It just you know, it's there and and then it's and that just stays there. You, you you're saved and everything's perfect and life goes on happily ever after. You never have any struggles. You never have any trials afterwards. And that's just not the case. So the case is that you will, no matter who you are, no matter how long you've been a Christ follower, 
you're going to have days that, that challenge you, and you need to go back to the scripture. You need to go back and look at the the patriarchs, the, the 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 fathers back in the in the Old Testament. You need to look to those people you know in your life that you've known from your Christian walk, um, people that may have already passed on, or people that are still with us, um, people that you can look at and say, if they did it, I can do it too. I just have to lean on the cross, the cross of Christ. And that is the message that we have here of faith. We don't give up because he didn't give up on the cross. Even when he drew all the pain and suffering for all our sin, when he, he, he bore the shame, he says despising the shame, he bore the shame because dying on a cross was, was, was also was intended to be an act of shame as well as incredible physical discomfort. The, the pain was part of it, but it was also the shame. The, 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 the emotional torment is also a part of the idea of the crucifixion. And he bore that, all of that, for you and I. So at that, we're going to stop for today. We will pick up in verse 3 in chapter 12 on our video for tomorrow. Have a blessed day, and please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. Be a, an example of faith for them, all right? That'd be a great way, all right? God bless you all. Take care.